Ooh, Yavin Final. Hello there! Welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, a Jedi Outcast. And we're chasing after Dasan, so I'm actually really keen. Because this is the final Yavin one? I don't know if it's the final final actual whole Jedi Outcast level. But this is where I was up to and then I realised that he was a big goof and... Yeah, I realised I was a big goof and forgot to have the computer audio. So, this would be cool. Right. Oh yeah, this is a Trixie Maze type thing. And that's why I quick saved. <laughs> I was a bit through this level and then realised, wait, I don't have any computer audio recording, which is stupid. Come on, seriously, you can go... I'm trying to rush it too much, that's my problem. Dang it, I was too close! And there's no force protection, so I'm not sure what else I can do. Oh! Oh! Oh, I can deactivate the traps. That's so much easier. I say as I figure fail to deactivate one. I didn't know I could do that. I thought I had to time it right, which is a yes, but also crap. Get it perfect. There we go. Hang on. I'm force pushing it to blow up the flames, I guess, is the thing with that. With this one. Yes, okay. Your efforts are in vain. Ooh. My efforts are in vain? Alright, what have we got here? It's forwards? Stand and face me, Katar. This is really cool. I really, this re level's really interesting with all the mazes and everything now. Uh -huh. If you go this way, it just goes to nothingness, doesn't it? Ah, yeah, death. Okay, so I will say I got this far in the level before. I got past a little bit, but I didn't defeat the sun or anything, so... What you have to do is get that. That puts out those flames. That's pretty much where I was up to. Then, if I push this one and go here, there's a little force pressing here. This little puzzle thing stumped me for a little bit the first time around, but now I remember what it is. Then back this way. This is just a timing thing. Easier than the fire because the fire replenished and was quicker. Oh, I almost ran into it. Yes, okay, cool. Here! F8. Here we go. Welcome, Kyle Katarn. Welcome to the future. Your future's looking pretty grim, Dasan. On the contrary, thanks to you, the weakling Jedi who scorned me will soon be erased from history, replaced by a new race of warriors. Strong warriors, warriors who know that the Force is not a shield to protect the useless, but is in reality.
reality, a weapon to empower the worthy. None of that's gonna happen to San. Most of your shadow troopers are being mocked up by real Jedi. Ones who've been trained to use the Force. The rest blew up with your ship. What a pathetic ruse. Hassan to Fayar. Admiral? Admiral! Admiral Fayar, I order you to come in at once! I was wrong about you, Katan. Your failure as a Jedi hasn't weakened you. It's only made you stronger. Come. Join me. You know in your heart that you'll never truly be one of them. Maybe, maybe not. But I know I won't be alone. How about you, Desan? Even now, after all this pain, it's not too late. Come, join us. You sweet fool! Okay, quick save. Yep, quick save here. Um, I like how that shows that Kyle's embodying the Jedi ideal of redemption as well. The Force will betray you to me. I got him! I got him! So quickly! I thought it'd be quick better than that. Wow, what a scrub. His lightsaber hilt's cool though. That was it! Wow. <laughs> the storm trip on the side. Just like ah! <laughs> and head wobble again like Kyle, Jan. Someday you're gonna have to teach me how to do that. Thanks for taking care of the Raven's Claw. It was the least I could do for the pair of mercenaries who saved the Jedi Academy. I know you've probably heard this before, but the New Republic is forever in your debt. You should have known it would take a failed Jedi to take out another failed Jedi. Kyle, you were never a failure. Luke, I... I know. I'll be happy to hold your lightsaber for safekeeping. No, I think I'll keep it. Ha! I knew it! Lando owes me five credits. Are you sure this is what you want, Kyle? Look, I'm not saying I'm ready to join the Academy or anything like that. I mean, before I do anything, I figure that Jan and I have earned a long vacation on the beaches of Spira. And after that, well... After that, we'll see. Yeah. Take your time, Kyle. We'll still be here when you're ready. Thanks, and may the Force be with you, Luke. Oh, that was the end of the whole game. Wow, okay, awesome. Well, oh, well, that's a... I th it's so much different to Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2. Especially that ending. Because Jeric was so hard to defeat. And he seems like a real scrub comparatively. Of course, it's a lightsaber combat and getting that right. But... Wow, he was just a complete scrub. He died like instantly like that. It's like, all right, cool. I'm going to have this epic fight against him. We're going to have to throw force powers at each other. We're going to have to be really switching up the lightsaber style and everything. But no, I just got one really good hit on him and he died. Well, that's true for good lightsabers. Uh, it's realistic. It's a bit like, right, hang on. Some of his minions killed me, but he didn't. That doesn't seem quite right. Hmm. But I guess I got good at the end and just wrecked him instantly. It's just like, bam, got him. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this. Oh, Stormtrooper Officer 1 was also voiced by Kyle Katarn. Interesting. Uh, Jeff Bennett 
voice Kyle Katarn here, which is different to what's his face in the Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2. So that's interesting. I don't remember the names all off the top of my head. So my bad for that. But man, this game was awesome. I love how perfect it gets the lightsaber combat. I think the only thing I'd say for it is some of the level design. But it makes you think. Like I don't get too lost in the level design unlike the previous one of being really stuck in what to do next. Uh, Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2 I think was the worst for that. But that's fine. And the lightsaber combat. Oh my goodness. Going from Dark Forces 2 to Jedi Outcast is such an improvement on the lightsaber combat. It's so good. Now the only thing, and the other thing is like, you don't really get to customise your force powers, you just get given the force powers, which they, they say new force power information, but they might have been able to explain it a bit better until I realise. That's how it goes. So, yeah. Well, Jeff Jones and Hayden Blackman with thanks to, and all the good stuff. Yeah, this is really cool. I really love this game. It's got a really good story to it as well, I feel like. Kyle has a really interesting story throughout it. Ah, oh, fucking stop my eyes from watering. Kyle has a really interesting story throughout it, from going Jan's dead, angry, and then realising that he had to let go of his anger like a real Jedi, and his whole story towards being more restored as a Jedi. Now he's not 100%, no. Yeah. Of course, he's got his lightsaber, he's going, I'm going to work on being a better Jedi, but he's not going to the Academy to learn from Luke, but of course, it's really cool, and what I was thinking at the end as well, was like, him and Jan on the vacation, I wonder if Kyle ever had any kids, damn it, eyes, I was thinking, if Kyle Katarn had kids, that would actually be really cool, and I don't remember if I've heard mention of Kyle ever having children with Jan. And so I was thinking like, hmm... Of course we don't hear too much about Kyle in a lot of the stuff after the Jedi Knight games, so... It's interesting. Adult special state. So why don't they just put additional... But yeah. It's really cool, I love the game. Very special thanks, George Lucas. Yes, thank you, George Lucas, for being a consulting advisor for the game, as well as creating Star Wars. Happy birthday, George. It was your birthday not too long ago. Oh. Nice. I like how they did the logo like that. So, back to the start. So, that was it for Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, a Jedi Outcast. Let me know what you thought of the game. Because I've really loved playing through it, and I think the difficulty of some of the levels and the level design just works well with it, as far as... It doesn't just handhold you. I'm used to being handheld, but at the same time, I need to get better at some of the older games that don't. So it's good to have that experience here. Next will be, for my series of pre-recorded stuff, will be, of course, a Jedi Knight a Jedi Academy, which comes after this. And so I'm super keen to get into that. I have played that one before, but I hadn't played Jedi Outcast before, so this is awesome. Really love it. Definitely play the game. Of course, you've watched me play through it if you're watching this one, and so... You can judge for yourself, but that's the lightsaber combat is so good. Anyway, enough of me rambling about how good Jedi Outcast is, and I'll just sign off. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this series and this video. It's been great to play it through, and I'll just keep coming with more. And I'll see you in the next video. Eric.